nice frosty cold freezy morning got these two pro form treadmills last night on craigslist for free and i'm going to scrap into them here a little bit and show you what's inside um, i'm not going to film tearing these things down I, I haven't developed any exact science on reverse engineering these things um, there are similarities but um, for the most part they're all kind of different uh, so anyways I'm going to tear them down and get them opened up and then I'll show you what's in here. Here off, I guess you know I have done enough is I guess there is a little bit of method to my madness. Usually you can get these covers off uh, fairly quick and easy. Then you can have a look and, and see what's inside here. Now this one has got pretty small motors compared to the last two. The last two units I got were built in the 90s and um, in a different video or when I get a chance to film them. Uh, they're not here. I'll show you what they look like, but they're they're massive. They're four or five times the size of these motors. Uh, these little motors here are going to be good for um, wind generators and other things that are small that don't take a lot of power. Uh, so there's the main the main motor we're going to be pulling out of here. Then there's also this other little motor over here in the gear mechanism. Uh, this is going to be the control board, obviously, power supply. Uh, I've got a reasonable little transformer there that we could do something with. You know, these cords, the wire, everything. I, I use all this stuff. Now, the other thing you can get out of here that's really unique and hard to find are these little belts and, and these belt drive units here. This one's plastic. The older ones from like the 90s are going to be aluminum or steel. The metal ones are definitely a lot going to last a lot better. Um, so there's where I'm at with the teardown on this one. Just thought you'd uh, all want to have a quick look in here. So I'm going to continue stripping and gutting this. And um, you know, even like these metal tubes here, uh, you, we've already got a T base here. So this uh, stuff is good for making stands for different things. Uh, you can cut it with a four-inch grinder and then just get out your cheap Harbor Freight welder and tack the stuff together. It's pre-painted. Um, so, once again, this metal is good stuff. I got a little update here. Just tore the face plate down and whatnot. So, um, here's what it looks like. It's kind of sexy on the front, but there's really not much to it. But when we look at this, we do have some good diodes here we can reuse. Got a good switch here. Well, that one looks like it's been heated up a little bit. Got the off on switch here. And we've got this other slider switch over here, which, you know, it was the speed control. And if you look at this thing, basically it's a varistor. And, um, you know, it's selecting different points on the coil for tapping power off of. So that thing there is going to be kind of handy. Now, usually your electronics, they're always uh, hooked up with these types of um, connectors. And these little connectors are kind of pricey, and they've been put on at the factory with a good quality factory tool. So we want to leave all those and not clip any of this. Plus, we got this nice housing here we can reuse too. Uh, so when we start rebuilding this, um, there's going to be a lot of good stuff here we can reuse. And you can see too that all these connectors are all quick connectors. Uh, here we've got a fuse reset. And um, here's something else I want to show you that's a, another handy little component. Is this unit right here. This here is a speed sensor. It's an optic sensor. And you can see these slot bars here on this uh, drive, belt drive wheel. And this here is going to count the revolution. So this thing here we want to take care of that because we're going to probably reuse that for... Uh, speed monitoring and other things that'll uh, be handy. So there's my current update. I'll let you know um, what's coming next. And finally, yeah, I got some more stuff here to show you. Uh, first, I wanted to start off uh, with this little sensor. I said this was an optic sensor, and um, in this particular case, this one is not. This one's a magnetic sensor. And there's the magnet in the wheel that passes the little sensor that makes it put out a little magnetic voltage so that the uh, clock, clock reader uh, can count it. Uh, I'm going to go over some other parts here too. Okay, here's some nice big bolts that were in here. These are basically shaft ends and they got threaded in so they can be bolted in. That's all steel. I can assure that 
I bet you can certainly imagine what it would cost to make something like that if you had to do it with a lathe at home. So that's good shit. Uh, now here's the frame, and, and you know, once again, we got nice paint here on good steel tubing. All this stuff can get hacked and reused, rewelded into other things. Don't know what yet, but we're going to keep it. When you live in a farm or an off-grid situation, everything's a resource, so you don't throw nothing away till you're absolutely sure you can't use it. Okay, now here's another thing I want to talk about too, are, are these belt wheels here. Okay, this is just like a alternator belt in a car. You can see it's got these grooves here, and these grooves fit down into those grooves, which is what gives it three sides of traction, so that way, uh, you know, it can pull on the wheel. Also, the motor here has the same thing, but this is all metal here. You know, at some point in time, too, I might take and grind that wheel off and get rid of it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep that weight on there or not. Uh, and here's the uh, lift motor, and that's that's the little capacitor there for it. Ran out the power on it. Um, this thing can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, so we'll talk more about that later. Once again, here's more good square steel tubing. This thing also had a nice hydraulic cylinder here for the lift, so I can probably use that for some, some point in time. I'll have to take a grinder and cut that to get this little piece off. Uh, oh yeah, and here's the, the piece of wood that's the, the running board. This one's particle board. But what's really nice is they put uh, a plastic vinyl slick coating of some kind on there. Uh, those are good for shelves or other things. It's a big pile of plastic here. Like this piece of plastic here, I can definitely cut this up to make rain covers for things. Probably this one here. I can cut this one right here where my thumb is, and then that there would make a good rain cover for different things, water or, or whatever. Once again, more good metal on the frame here. A lot of stuff we can reuse. Even all these screws I reuse. Here's a couple nice little pulley wheels that can be used for running strings and cords to things. You know, lots of springs, uh, some nice rubber shock mounts, some spring shock mounts. You know, it's got threaded bolts on both sides, good stuff. Some of these things you're not going to just find at the hardware store. So, let's see, let's take a look at this other shaft here. Now these shafts, I think, are quite valuable. They got bearings in the ends here. Uh, nice precision bearings, so you know there's a lot you can use uh, that roller for. So there's the first one apart. Oh, here's another thing too. There's a transformer that was in here, and this transformer is kind of weird. I have to do a little research on this. You know, for a background in electronics, I should remember what this coil does here. You know, usually you have two wires in and two wires out. But this one here has only got one wire, so obviously this thing is charging up, making a magnetic field for something. I'm not sure what. Um, you know, I should remember this, but I don't, so I'm going to have to research that a little bit. Uh, once again, it's got nice heavy gauge wire in there. It's going to be good for something. If not, I'll peel the wire out of it and reuse it. I'm putting my hand here so you can kind of get an idea about how big these are. They're kind of small. Um, especially compared to the other ones that I recently got. Here's the other little uh, drive lift motors, the coils, some of the other components. Here's the belts, I always keep those. Now you'll notice here on this weight, on this wheel, um, this thing here's got a lot of weight and I'm probably going to cut it off with the grinder, smooth it up and then reuse it. But if you look at the belt, this is just like on a car, you got grooves there and you got grooves here that those lock into. That way the pulley is getting three sides of pull. Actually multiple sides, but I mean three sides per line uh, to give it its drive torque. So this is actually pretty nice hub parts here. They're all metal. A lot of times they're plastic. So um, I really like that about it. And once again, you know, somebody gave me these for free and I'm really grateful because they was really nice people. And I appreciate them uh, sharing their garbage with me. And so now that you've seen what's here, I'll uh, show you more about what we can do with it. This thing, look how big it is compared to my hand. This thing is huge. Here's the, here's the ones from out of the other unit. As you can see, yeah, this thing here is about three, four times the size of that. So, oh, yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, 
Yeah, the power supplies look a little heavier too. Heavier relays, heavier transformers. So I'm just getting into this one, and um, well, the best is yet to come. I guess I'll uh, get tore down and show you what I find. Yeah, once again, it's got a magnetic sensor just like the other ones. Same kind of plastic drive. Looks like the shafts are the same size too. So, yep, uh, that's a good hit for the money. Free is a good price. Can't beat Craigslist. It is treadmill number six. And this one here has got a, a, a nice size motor on it. That ought to produce some decent power. Later on here, we're going to, when I got all of them together, we'll look over the specs and I'll show you what makes one better than the other. Um, other than that, I guess I'm just going to get started tearing this down. I'll show you whatever comes up that's worth looking at. Out. This here is the sensor and the, the disc here that measures the speed of the motor. This motor over here is the lift motor. Uh, this here is the drive control slash pulse width modulator. And I know that this one here, the pulse width modulator, isn't working. And I can already see looking at it right here, there's a blown, it looks like probably a blown cap. Um, but we'll get more into that stuff later. I just got another free treadmill off Craigslist. As you can see, this one's got a really big motor. When I saw this one, I knew it was going to have a really big motor, so I'd gotten another one exactly like it. Here's what the model is. It's a Trotter CXT Plus. So watch for these. If you see these on Craigslist, this is definitely the one to get right here. This has got a bigger motor than any other one I've ever found so far. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys what was in here. As you can see, we got a very large capacitor. You know, those are expensive too. Uh, and this one's even got a bigger transformer, I think, than the last one had. So there's what we got, and I'll show you what we're going to do with it.